It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. I gave you all I had. I did. Uh. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on! John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us... <sighs> no. But I tried. <laughs> In the end, I did. Come on, Dutch! Come on! Ah! So. Dad? Bist du's wirklich? I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. Dir muss gar nichts leid tun. Du wusstest es nicht besser. Jetzt komm, steh auf, bring, bring wir dich hier weg, bring wir dich in Sicherheit. No, get out of here. Please, this ain't gonna be nothing nice. Nein, Dad. Ich hab dich so lange gesucht. Ich werde dich jetzt nicht im Stich lassen. You gotta go. Go. Don't look back. Wohin soll ich denn gehen? Go to your family. Aber die Gang ist nicht mehr in Beaver Hollow. Das ganze Lager ist abgebaut. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wo sie sind. 
and John. The Copperhead Land. Es tut mir so leid, dass ich dich nicht retten konnte, Dad. Be brave, son. Und da stand ich nun. Was sollte ich machen? Das erste, was ich tat, war, den Rat meines Vaters zu befolgen und John, Abigail und Sadie in Copperhead Landing zu treffen. Freundlicherweise überließ John mir die Sache meines Vaters, woraufhin ich ihm und seiner Familie allerdings alles Geld ließ, damit sie sich ein neues Leben irgendwo an einem anderen sicheren Ort aufbauen konnten. Trotz alledem ging es in Copperhead Landing drunter und drüber. Aber was soll ich sagen? Sie haben ja schließlich ihr altes Leben und alles, woran sie glaubten, verloren. Als Sadie Copperhead Landing verließ, beschloss ich, mich auch auf den Weg zu machen, um John und seiner Familie nicht im Wege zu stehen und sie sich in Sicherheit bringen konnten. your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, drunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time. Yeah. And you ain't interested in fame. <laughs> Friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh. Well, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and come here looking for me is that it no ain't like that arthur oh, okay listen arthur i i'm 
My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't wanna live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. 
Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. We're different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Uh Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Guten Abend, Mister. Ich hätte gerne Rasur. Vielen Dank. Ist wirklich sehr gut geworden. Auf Wiedersehen.
You know, the images that really haunt you. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature. The yard is warm. Many times over, but for you. And the seams are torn when they try to get a kid in you. To fight. You like a fly. Do you? And you're not gonna take what they've got to give, and you're not gonna let them take out. Not gonna take what they've 